Americans, I stand with you tonight, a retired four-star general of the United States Marine Corps. And I am joined by my fellow generals and admirals and with these magnificent young veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. They went there and they risked their lives because they love this country. They are here. They are here before you because this most consequential election is the greatest one in our memory for the President of the United States. The stakes are enormous. We must not, and we could not, stand on the sidelines. This election can carry us to a future of unity and hope, or to a dark place of discord and fear. We must choose hope. Every American in uniform, in the White House or at home. USA! 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 We must be a force for unity in America, for a vision that includes all of us. All of us, every man and woman, every race, every ethnicity. Every faith, every faith and creed, including the Americans who are our precious, precious Muslims, and every gender and every gender orientation. All of us together, all of us together, pursuing our common values. My fellow Americans from the battlefield to the capitals of our allies and friends and partners, the free people of the world look to America as the last best hope for peace and liberty for all humankind. For we are, we are the greatest country on this planet. So we stand before you tonight to endorse Hillary Clinton for the President of the United States of America. We trust in her judgment. We trust in her judgment. We believe in her vision for a united America. We believe in her vision of an America as a just and strong leader against the forces of hatred, the forces of chaos and darkness. We know that she, as no other, knows how to use all instruments of American power, not just the military, to keep us all safe and free. My fellow Americans, I tell you, without hesitation or re reservation, that Hillary Clinton will be exactly, exactly the kind of Commander-in-Chief America needs. I know this. I know this because I served with her. I know this as the former Special Presidential Envoy to the Global Coalition to counter ISIS. With her as our Commander-in-Chief, America will continue to lead this volatile world. We will oppose and resist tyranny, and we will defeat evil. America, America will defeat ISIS and protect the homeland. America will honor our treaty obligations. We will lead and strengthen NATO and the Atlantic Alliance and our allies in East Asia and around the world 
whom we have sworn a solemn oath to defend. My fellow Americans, we will stop the spread of nuclear weapons and keep them from the hands of dangerous states and groups. Our, our armed forces will be stronger. They will have the finest weapons, the greatest equipment. They will have the support of the American people. You and the American military will continue to be, will continue to be the shining example of America at our very best. Our veterans, our veterans will be thanked by a grateful nation and they will be cared for in the manner they deserve for the sacrifices they have made for all of us, for this great country, and for world peace. Ladies and gentlemen, but I also know that with her as our Commander-in-Chief, our international relations will not be reduced to a business transaction. I also know that our armed forces will not become an instrument of torture and they will not be engaged in murder or carry out other illegal activities. With Hillary Clinton as our Commander-in-Chief, the United States will continue to be that indispensable transformational power in the world to our allies and to our friends and partners. Listen closely. We are with you. America will not abandon you. To those, to those acting against peace, acting against civilization in the world order, we will oppose you. And to our enemies, to our enemies, we will pursue you as only America can you will fear us, and to ISIS and others, we will defeat you. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Americans, my fellow veterans, this is the moment, this is the opportunity for our future and that of the world. We must seize this moment to elect Hillary Clinton as President of the United States of America. Thank you, and God bless you, and God bless America.